To create a frame in an empty part studio, start by creating a sketch or defining 3D curves. The entities should define the length and the overall shape or skeleton of the structure. Keep in mind you can pattern and mirror segments, so you may not need a sketch line for each segment. For example, if this frame has four legs, let's just create one sketch line for one leg and then mirror the leg to get the other segments needed, keeping the sketch simple. If there are existing parts in a part studio, you may select faces, edges, or vertices of the existing parts to define the segments, not even needing a sketch. Once there is a sketch or other geometry to define the segments, select the frames feature in the feature toolbar. You may select a sketch in the current document or link to another document to define the segment's profile. It is very easy to establish a custom library of custom profiles and share to the entire company. More about this is covered in the custom profile lesson. Onshape also provides a library of standard frame profiles, including 8020, AISC, ANSI, AS, and ISO tube and bar stock. Select the standard, type, and size. Click Generate and Done. All of the segments created in a single frame feature are required to have the same profile. You may use different frame profiles within the same part studio as needed. A new frame feature needs to be created for each profile. To define the segments select the entire sketch, individual sketch entities, curves, faces, edges, or even vertices or sketch points. The only requirement is the selection set must be a continuous path and cannot contain a branch off of the main path. If another segment is needed in a branch-like position from the main path, create another frame feature to add that segment. When selecting vertices or sketch points, the segments continuously create from the last selection. You can adjust the placement of the profile on the path. Select the different dots in the graphics area to change the position of the profile relative to the path. To change the angle of the profile on the path, drag the manipulator in the graphics area or input an angle in the frame dialog. Choose the corner option needed from mitre, but, coped but, or none. You can define an overall corner definition for the entire frame's feature and then override specific corners as needed. Use the corner overrides to change the butt direction. Click into the override field and then select the corner or multiple corners and choose the corner override and direction. Basic trimming at the ends of the segments is also available within the frame feature. Check Limit Frame Ends. This option can extend or trim the segment to the selection. Determine if the trim should be to a part or face and then choose the part or face. If choosing a part, on shape trims to the closest face of the part. You may make multiple selections if needed. If you need to trim to a plane, select the faces to trim to option and select the plane. If you need to trim more than the ends of a segment or have a complex joint where several segments meet, use the frame trim feature which is explained in a future video. Continue creating more frames as needed to create the entire structure. When creating frames with several segments that are the same, instance the segments within the part studio to ensure the cut list is accurate. Once the cut list feature is added, the individual segments are combined into an open composite part. More on this is discussed in the cut list video. The next video explores more modeling strategies using mirror, patterns, and additional features to model frame geometry.